Welcome to your next step in the journey to Pascua. I'm Father Michael Botanis from Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm speaking about St. Mary of Egypt. St. Mary of Egypt is depicted here on the wall of the church right behind me. And above her is Father Zosima who came to her in the desert and who offered her Holy Communion. St. Mary's life is an incredible life and a great witness for us for repentance and growing closer to God. In summary, St. Mary grew up in Alexandria, Egypt, and she was not a saint. Unfortunately, she lived a very bad life, but somehow God's providence brought her into contact with some pilgrims who were going to the Holy Land to visit the holy places. When she arrived there, she tried to enter the Church of the Holy Cross and could not go in to venerate the Holy Cross. Some invisible force kept her outside of the church and away from the Holy Cross. In her confusion, she looked up and saw an icon of the Virgin Mary. And the Virgin Mary said to her, go across the Jordan into the wilderness and there you will find salvation. So indeed, that is what she did. She went and purchased a couple of loaves of bread and then lived in the wilderness east of the Jordan for, I want to say, 47 years. She crossed the Jordan River in an interesting place. It's a very historic place. That's where the Israelites came into the Promised Land and went to Jericho to destroy the city walls. That is where Elijah fled Ahab and Jezebel and sought refuge in the wilderness. And likewise, this is the place where St. Mary uh, dwelled. Some interesting things that we should think about for ourselves is that looking at the repentance of St. Mary of Egypt, uh, we can indeed repent ourselves. Someone who had such a, a very difficult and very, very uh, a life so far away from God recognized her distance from God and repented. And she's an inspiration to all of us who can put aside whatever small or great sins keep us from being close to the Lord. We are approaching the Holy Cross during Holy Week. We have in our minds venerating the precious wood of the cross on which the Lord outstretched his arm and gave us life. St. Mary, who was unable to approach the Holy Cross until she had repented, is, an, is a, an inspiration for us to likewise repent before we go to embrace and venerate the Holy Cross of the Lord. I wish you a blessed repentance and a blessed Pascha. Thank you. May St. Mary intercede for all of us. Amen.